here again. And uh, we're going to be talking again about the Photoshop 2021 Sky Replacement Tool uh, with a little bit of a twist. If you recall from the last video, and these are no frills, unedited videos, uh, sole intention is to get information in your hands as quickly and as easily as possible. So there's no music, no fancy logos, just, uh, just pure information that I hope you will enjoy using. Um, so in the last video, we used uh, the sky replacement tool to replace the sky. Uh, this time we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to deal with uh, an image that has still water in it, and it's below here, where that needs to match what's going on in the sky, otherwise it doesn't look very realistic. So the first thing we're going to do, and if you didn't uh, watch the last video, I encourage you to... Uh, you can you don't have to watch it before this one here but definitely you know check it out um, there'll be a link to it at the end of this video as well so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make a more dramatic sky here I chose this image this was captured uh, I captured this at the Japanese garden on Chappaquiddick Island uh, back in 2017 and I chose it because it's got some very still water. It's got a kind of a blah sky. Um, so we're going to make it much more dramatic and we're going to fix up the water as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to, uh, of course, duplicate the background layer. And because the sky that I'm going to be introducing here, which I've already chosen uh, a sky, uh, it's, it's going to be a sunset type sky where the image is, is going to need a much warmer look, otherwise it's going to kind of look out of place. So the easiest thing to do is before we start replacing the sky, and again there are other edits on this image that can and should be done. You know the sole intention here is to use the sky replacement tool and uh, use it in a way where we can also handle the reflection in the water as well. I'm not going to address the other types of edits, uh, removal of objects, plants, so on and so forth. Uh, but what I did want to do is I wanted to just uh, kind of warm the image up a little bit because we will be dealing with a much warmer sky so we get a little more of a match. And as you may recall from the last video with the sky replacement tool, uh, it does handle you know areas in the foreground and areas under the sky to help it more closely match uh, the sky but you need to help it along as well. So we, um, what we did is we uh, warmed it up and what I'm going to do is go to the sky replacement tool. And I've already chosen this sky that we're gonna use here. So as it creates the preview, you'll see this sky get nicely fit into place uh, it's a very complicated mask uh, being generated in the background, which is the uh, one of the, the major uh, parts of the tool and the complexity of this new uh, sky replacement tool. Um, so you can see the new skies in place. Um, if you want to know how to add your own skies, uh, in the previous video I did also provide a link to 15 uh, blue skies with clouds and birds in them. So you, you can include those in your own sky library and I show you how to do that in the previous video. And I'll try to put a link to that video at the end of this one. Um, so this is the, the sky. Uh, let's uh, save this. Okay and let me just show you one other thing too. Um, I mentioned about when it does enhance the sky it does also handle and try to correct some of the lighting below it. So you see the um, two images, uh, two layers that it created. Uh, this is the foreground one. So if I shut that off, all right, you'll be able to see the effect of that. So if I uh, shut off the, the sky, it's going to go back to the old sky. But if I shut off the foreground, you can see that it also is trying to compensate to make it a more realistic look based on that type of sky. Um, and you can, again, this 
image needs to be edited in other ways, and this is this is not an editing session, so I'm just addressing sky replacement, uh, water reflection uh, is the main purpose of this of this video. So what we want to do, and if you don't do the next step, the subsequent steps not going to work the way they should. Uh, and what I found is is basically this: is what we have to do. We have to take the um, the, the, the layers that were created as part of the uh, sky replacement, okay, and let's merge those layers. All right. Let's unmerge those layers. <laughs> let's, I told you this is unedited, right? I forgot to include the, uh, the actual layer, the background layer that we were working in. Uh, now merge those layers together. Okay. Uh, and now the next step, again, we have the sky up here. But uh, you'll notice that down here, uh, this is still the same water that doesn't reflect the sky. Yeah, maybe it's a little pinkish, but it should reflect the clouds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to image, image rotation, flip canvas vertically. So now what do we have? We have the water on top, which kind of looks like a sky to uh, Photoshop into the tool. And what we're going to do again is we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to sky replacement. Choosing the same sky, of course, which is already loaded in place. We'll give it a moment. And it will fill in what is the reflection in the water with sky. As you can see, it did. So let's click OK on that. And now what we can do is uh, let's take the image and let's rotate it back. Like that. Now, one problem is there's a little just there's a little too much sky reflection in that water. It won't typically reflect the sky that much. So you probably know what I'm going to do. Uh, again, this is the layer with the uh, with the sky with the water reflection of the sky. If I shut it off. That'll go away. Turn it back on. Going to select that layer. And we're going to go to Opacity, and I'm going to bring it down to about 55%, okay, and click OK, hit OK, or hit Enter. Um, okay, so now the reflection, you can see it's there, you can see the clouds, uh, you might want a little more reflection, I chose 55%, I mean you certainly don't want it at 100 because you're not going to have that much of a reflection in the water, but you are going to have some. Even at that point there, I'm at 65. You know, you can change it to your liking, what you feel is most realistic. And um, now we have the replaced sky. We warmed the whole image up orig originally to because we knew we were going to create a much warmer environment. We got the reflection of the sky in the water and again you can adjust that to your liking I got it at 65 percent but now it looks much more realistic and we have a fairly dramatic photo that's mostly technically environmentally correct again there are other edits that need to be done you know we might want to get rid of some of this foliage here get rid of this plant here again that wasn't the intent of this uh, video the intent was to um, should I show you how to do sky replacement, handle the reflection in the water. Uh, one thing, if we take a look at the before, that's what we came into when uh, we first, uh, before we touched the image. And that's what we got now. Quite a dramatic change. Uh, we got our water reflection, we got our sky. And again, if you want to learn more about adding your own skies, uh, please look at the other video as well. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please put them in the comments section. Um, please give this video a like if you liked it. And um, 
perhaps I'll see you again uh, when I do another one of my unedited no frills tutorials. Again, I'm Patrick Infante. You can check me out on Instagram as well. I'll leave some links in the comments section. Thanks again.